So let's start here. I got angels. Uh, got seasons one through five of angel. And uh, let me see if I can just pull like a season out here and show you guys. Yeah, uh, season three and uh, four. So yeah, I mean it's just you know standard stuff you find. You know it's um, they they are the slim cases. So let me pull this out here. So if you see, they are the little just slim cases inside the pack here. Uh, next we got Big Bang Theory, a uh, actually a really good TV show. It's still on the air right now. It's in its fifth season, so I do have all four seasons that are out to date of that. Um, two on DVD and then two on Blu-ray. So you know, there's a first season. And the second season. And then we have the third season here on Blu-ray. And the fourth season on Blu-ray. Uh, generally when there's stuff out on Blu-ray, um, I pick that um, over the DVD counterpart just because, um, you know, I, I like the, the high def uh, quality and the high def audio. Some of my friends are like, oh, I can't see the high def quality in a TV show. You know, or it doesn't have big explosions. I don't need it. But you know what? Hey, it's Blu-ray, and Blu-ray is better over DVD. Some things, you know, you can only buy in DVD. Other things, you know, and they give you the option. I pick Blu-ray. That's just my deal, you know? But uh, the Boondocks, really funny cartoon. It's on the, uh, it's on Adult Swim. It's actually uh, pretty cool. Um... So, there's season one, here's season two, and season three. And that's all they got out so far. Um, I didn't like season three as much as, say, season two. Um, Boy Meets World, uh, great um, 90s show. Um, I really like that. Um, AB Studios, AB, ABC Studios puts these out, so, um, but yeah, I only have, like, uh, five seasons of these, and, uh, I think they're out to, like, season seven now, seven or eight, so, I definitely gotta get up on those, but for right now, I just got the five seasons. Uh, my favorite TV show of all time, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, and these are, you know, once again, the Slim Packs. Yeah, so there's all seven seasons. Um, favorite season, maybe, on this, I guess I would have to say, probably season three. Um, you know, when they really kind of intro Faith, and I think she's one of my favorite characters. Uh, between her and Spike. So... You know, I really like that. That's when her, her character kind of comes into her own and stuff like that. So, now we got Californication. This is a Showtime series. Um, I do have um, three seasons that are all out today. I think they're on the fourth season now on TV. Um, he plays a Hollywood writer in this. Um, or just like a writer in general. He lives out in um, California and, you know, he's trying to, you know, uh, get his new book published and everything and just all the kind of crazy mishaps that goes along with being a writer and you know and how you get your inspiration and you know everything that goes along with that and all the crazy hijinks and you know being kind of a, a sexaholic so actually not a not a bad show I, uh, Carnival both seasons this is a cancelled show um, it was on HBO uh, it's about the 1930, 19, in 1934, uh, the Dust Bowl. Um, they canceled this series because basically it was just costing HBO way too much money to keep making it look like uh, the Dust Bowl era. And, you know, they, the, for the high production values they put into it to try and make it look like it was in that era. And they were just like, you know what, we can't keep affording to do this. So they went ahead and canceled it. And, and then we got Charmed here. Um, I do not like this at all. I think this is one of the most retarded shows ever produced. Uh, but my wife loves it. So those are hers. Um, all um, eight seasons of that. 
Um, I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. Um, uh, this character, I think, named Piper. I think she's constantly like Leo, Leo, and I'm just like, oh god, will you just shut up? Your voice is annoying. So there's that. Um, I'm a big Kevin Smith fan. So um, I did get the uh, exclusive two disc collection of the Clerks Uncensored. It's the uh, Clerks cartoon. If anybody has ever watched Clerks, the uh, movie, the black and white movie, this has the exact same characters and it, voiced by um, the same guys who uh, did the actual original movie. The uh, complete series of Deadwood on Blu-ray. Um, I did a kind of um, a review slash unboxing of this or whatever, you know, uh, here on my channel, so go check that out. Um, Desperate Housewives, I got the first, second, and third season. I need to get up on the other ones. I think they're out to like season seven now, seven or eight, something like that. Um, and I just uh, I picked these up when I had some spare money out at Walmart. Another show that got canceled was um, Dollhouse, but I really, really, really like that show. Starring um, Elijah Dushku. Um, as you know, we've seen her from Buffy. You know, she's Faith on Buffy. Um, Really good show. Really, really good show. Um, I got Entourage. Got six um, seasons of that. The seventh one is out. Uh, I just haven't picked it up yet. Um, it's on Blu-ray. And actually, they have the sixth season on Blu-ray. Awesome. Next, I have The Guild. Uh, this is a web show by Felicia Day. Felicia Day was Vi on the seventh season of Buffy. She was one of the potential slayers. Um, and... And right here, the redhead, and it's Felicia Day. Uh, this is her web series. Um, it's called The Guild. It's basically about um, online gaming, like in a World of Warcraft setting. Uh, like how people manage uh, their day-to-day -day lives while being addicted to an MMO um, RPG. So, it's actually pretty cool. Also, um, the third season, I'm sorry, season four, um, has... Um, Will Wheaton in it. You uh, fans out there from of Star Trek will notice him. Uh, he was in Star Trek, one of the Star Trek series. Not exactly sure which one. Next Generation, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, not a huge Star Wars fan, so... Or, I'm sorry, Star Trek fan, so... Not a fan of Noah, actually, so I'm not sure. But uh, he's also been on the Big Bang Theory. Uh, he plays kind of a, a real jerk in this show. I got Heroes, Seasons 1, 2, and 3. And yes, they are on Blu-ray, and I do plan to buy them on Blu-ray. Um, I did buy these DVD sets, though, because they were only like $10 a Target. And I was like, you know what? I can't pass it up. I really love the show. Um, and the fourth season is also out and on DVD and Blu-ray. I just haven't picked it up yet. Um, had like an extra 30 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I just I just really want to get these Hero Seasons. I don't want to wait. Home Improvement. I ended up, I got all eight seasons. I got the um, Collector's uh, Edition thing that came in a... Uh, I came in like a um, like a toolbox type deal uh, with a Benford measuring tape and everything. So I was like, that's pretty cool. And I got it off of Amazon, which is actually where I do actually quite a bit of my shopping now these days. Uh, and it was only like 90, like 70 bucks or something like that. But they was having like a uh, one day sale order. It's normally around 100 bucks. And for all eight seasons, you know, that's actually really not a bad deal at all. The L word. Uh, one of my favorite Showtime uh, TV series. Um, for anybody who don't know, it's basically it's um it's a show about like a group of lesbians and like their how they interact in their life and their drama and everything that goes on and you know dealing with friendships and loss and love and everything else. So it's actually a really good show. Um, six seasons of that. So and this is the complete and final season. Uh, Lost, everybody pretty much knows about Lost, uh, one of the biggest shows ever on ABC. Two seasons of Roseanne, these are the new ones that just came out. Um, there's a big debacle over the other ones that were out, where they weren't the actual full shows, um, they were the syndicated cuts, um, they took out like a few minutes out of each episode. Um, so... When they and I was gonna actually buy those, and I didn't realize that until I got to actually reviewing uh, stuff. And then, 
you know, watching reviews and stuff like that, and then, like, reading up on TV shows on DVD.com. And um, they said talk about they're going to release uh, these, and Mill Creek is uh, actually really re-releasing them, and with the full versions of the show. So I was like, okay, awesome. I was going to pick them up on Amazon, ended up um, hanging out at Target, just looking around, was like, oh, my God, they got a two-pack out. It was only like $15. I couldn't pass it up because it was going to cost me about $15 per season on Amazon. So, you know, hey, it's like buy one, get one free at Target Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, Target is actually really good for two packs. So if anybody's uh, wanting TV shows and stuff, definitely check out Target before you go anywhere else. Uh, before you go to like Walmart or Best Buy or anything like that, definitely check out Target. My local Target has a really good selection. So, you know, obviously I can't say that for everybody, but definitely... Uh, Check it out, you know, and, and see before you make any other purchases anywhere else. You'll probably get off a lot cheaper. Uh, six Feet Under, a really, really good uh, Showtime series about a uh, funeral home parlor and two brothers who run it and the uh, craziness of their lives and and how they uh, they see dead people and stuff like that. And um, that's not actually really there. And basically, just their lives and how they interact with other people. Um, the relationships and stuff like that, and then this um, this last season. So I got a uh, five complete seasons of that. It's not on TV no more. So this is the complete collection. I have seasons one through five of Smallville. Um, seasons six through ten are on Blu-ray. So I stopped buying the DVDs. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop right here, and I'll pick up the other uh, five seasons on Blu-ray. Um, really good show um, that um, was on um, WB for a while. Um, it's about, you know, obviously it's um, Superman before he became Superman. Um, back when he was just Clark Kent, normal high school student, and all the way up through, you know, his uh, into his early adulthood and uh, how, you know, uh, how his powers developed and his uh, relationship with Lex Luthor and you know, how that all started out and everything, so, really good show, um, again, I got here, The Sopranos, another H uh, HBO show, uh, I have the complete set, uh, series, um, and then I got all six seasons, uh, season six, part one, and part two, a uh, really good show about a mobster, and, um, his, uh, family and friends and stuff like that, and, in, uh, New Jersey, so, uh, definitely, should check that out also. Seasons uh, one on South Park. Uh, could I get the, the slim case here? I don't know, like, if it's missing anything from the other original packs. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to actually check on that because I've been kind of wondering. So I got um, seasons one of on that with uh, in the regular case. Just uh, let me see if I can open this here. Yeah, see, it's just a little. That type of you know style flipping thing in the in the center. So got season one of that. I'm gonna put this back here on the shelf and try not to rip my Soprano box. Um, the complete second season, uh, third season, fourth season, fifth, sixth, uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten, uh, tenth, eleventh, and fourteenth. Um, Supernatural, one of my, um, uh, favorite shows, um, that is actually on TV today, still on TV today, I should say, um, about, uh, two brothers who are, um, ghost hunters and they hunt supernatural things and demons and stuff like that, vampires, um, ghosts, um, all kinds of stuff, um, so if anybody actually is out there who, uh, is into that kind of stuff, definitely give this show a peek and, and see what's out there, you know, and, and, and see if you like it. Um, pick up season one, see if you like it, or maybe, like, get it off, rent one or two episodes off of iTunes and give it a watch. I could almost guarantee you'll love it. So, uh, True Blood, season one, two, and three. Um, I like season one the best. It all kind of seemed like it was going downhill from there. As far as vampire shows go, I guess it's one of the better ones. Um, I would definitely take this over Twilight any day of the week, any day of the year, any day of the century. Because I hate Twilight with a passion. Um, so, 
I really think, think this is one of the um, better vampire shows that are um, on today. Um, honestly, it, I, this is sort of like what I wish Buffy could have been. Um, if it like kind of had a harder edge to it. And uh, if they ever do bring back Buffy, I would like kind of see I have a harder edge, kind of more like True Blood. Um, the Tudors, about King Henry VIII. Um, a good Showtime series. Uh, and I do have all four seasons of it. I was really hoping they would end up putting this out on Blu-ray, but they never did. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up on DVD. And if they ever do put it out on Blu-ray, then I'll pick it up. Second season of Vampire Diaries. Um, not bad, actually. Not a bad show at all, really. Um, it's kind of got that... Um, it's almost sort of like True Blood meets Buffy meets... And God, kill me as I'm saying this. Meets sort of Twilight a little bit. A little bit. Not hardcore, like, it's actually kind of funny that kind of, uh, one of the vampire characters, Damon, is actually, um, sitting and reading a book, and he's actually reading, um, one of the Twilight books, and he tosses the book, and he's like, oh, gosh, she's got this all wrong, uh, talking about the, uh, author of, um, those books and, and stuff like that, and it's just kind of make, they make one or two references to the fact that, um, it's really a horrible, horrible book series. Um, but I got the second season, and actually, you know, I picked up the second season because I'd already watched the first season, I rented it from Blockbuster, they had it on DVD, and I was like, oh man, I, I really, really want to see the second season, so, I was sitting there, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get a second season so I can go ahead and watch it, so I can catch up on the third season online on, um, on CW's website, and, um, and, and do that, and then I'll pick up season one here, and, you know, Next couple months or whatever. So. So that's the only reason why I only have season two at the moment. I do plan on buying season one. Believe me. It's a really good show. And then Weeds. Um, really good uh, Showtime series. Um, obviously, tough one title, Weeds. It's about a uh, soccer mom who basically has uh, She, um. Deals weed. <laughs> She's, um. She's your pusher, holla if you hear her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, about her, it shows about her um, being able to get along with friends and family and still do her business and make money at it and still trying to be a good mom and on the side and, you know, have her kids grow up and, you know, still with some values and stuff like that and, you know, her balance between trying to be a dealer and being a mom. It's actually um, extremely funny. So, and all these are on Blu-ray, so I will continue to buy the rest of the um, series on Blu-ray. Alright guys, uh, this has been Loose Can Rabu, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.